Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Have you ever felt frustrated with how Pro ID, Instant ID, and IP adapter struggle to capture the same face similarity? I'm excited to walk you through a workflow I've developed that achieves 100% face similarity. Let's jump right in and check out the results. Here's our reference image. Now take a look at this image generated using a new workflow. You can see we've switched things up with long blonde hair. Next, here's a portrait of a woman wearing glasses. Let's change her setting a bit. Notice that her eyes stay the same. What's really cool is that the size, position, and even the angle of the face are fully adjustable within the workflow. Now look at this profile. Let's try giving her a different hairstyle. See? The faces remain identical. Let's change this woman's pose to lying down. Or we can keep the original position for this woman. It's super flexible, right? So, what inspired me to build this workflow? Well, I had been using the Flux-based ID model recently, and I noticed a few issues. Let's take a look at its results. I've shared my Pull ID workflow on OpenArt, and you'll find the download link in the description below. Now, check out these images generated with the Pull ID model. Look closely at the faces. Do they really resemble the originals? Another issue is that the hair color changes and consistent, and the hairstyles don't always turn out as expected. For example, even though the prompt asks for a long blonde hair, what we got is brown hair of varying lengths. On top of that, the size and the position of the face are hard to control. See how the face in this image looks way too small? And to make things worse, the facial details often feel off. But here's the good news. None of these problems happen with my workflow. You start by defining a canvas. And from there, you can place the portrait exactly where you want. Adjusting the size, position, and angle however you like. Then, we use Flux combined with SDXL model, generating a polished image based on your prompt. One thing I love about this workflow is how lifelike the skin looks. Plus, the hands, no wear glitches. I'll drop the download link for this workflow in the video description, so check it out. I've also created a bunch of free workflows on OpenArt, and they've been downloaded quite a lot. But like many workflows on OpenArt, keeping them updated can be a challenge. This new one came to me in a burst of inspiration, and I really love how it turned out. I'd like to keep improving it with the latest technologies and feedback from you all. That's why, unlike my previous ones, this workflow isn't free, but it's super affordable. With your support, I'll be able to keep it updated and make it even better over time. Through this workflow, you'll see how cutting-edge tech can be applied to real-world scenarios. I have written a detailed guide for this workflow. I hope you'll give it a try and support my work. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you all create with it.